with CBS 42 Storm Team Meteorologist Dr. Tim Coleman. Tim, I know it was a little hot today, but maybe a cool down uh, tomorrow with some rain. Yeah, some big changes coming. We've got rain and thunderstorms coming and maybe some trouble coming up in the tropics, hurricanes and things like that. First of all, let's take a quick tour of our sky cams around central Alabama. First of all, going to Tuscaloosa. The lights are now out at Bryant-Denny Stadium where Alabama had a big win earlier today. The lights are still on at Jordan-Hare. People still filing out after Auburn's big win over Alabama State. LSU comes to town next week. And then here in Birmingham, the Magic City, looking out over the city tonight, fairly muggy and humid out there. The temperature still at this late hour at 1015 is 82 degrees, a very light wind and high humidity at 65%. So it feels very muggy out there tonight and that will continue for the next two or three days. Now we're looking around central Alabama. We can see we're having a little bit of that heat island effect here in Birmingham at 82 around us, 77 in Asheville, 76 in Talladega, 76 in Alabaster. The concrete in the city holds a little more heat than the surrounding forested areas. So it's a little more muggy here, but everyone will wind up somewhere in the mid 70s by the time we get into tomorrow morning. Now looking at our radar right now, not much going on out there. A couple of isolated thunderstorms, mostly down here to our south. One just north of Lake Martin here in Tallapoosa County, a few more down in Elmore County and on the southern end of Lake Martin. Then we've got one up here just east of Weiss Lake, east of Cedar Bluff and Galesville. Most of these other dots here are just ground clutter. We could see an isolated shower or storm just about any time overnight tonight given how humid the air is, but the better chances for rain start coming in tomorrow afternoon, then especially on Monday and Tuesday. Let's zoom the radar picture back and look to our west. We see lots of heavy rain and thunderstorms all throughout central Mississippi, across much of Arkansas, back into Louisiana and Texas. As a matter of fact, there are a number of flash flood warnings in effect currently in Mississippi, Arkansas and Tennessee even. There is currently a flash flood warning in effect for the city of Memphis right now. And all of this is being caused by a cold front that is connected to what was once Tropical Storm Gordon. Remember that? We had it back earlier in the week, some rain on Tuesday and Wednesday. It's still hanging out here near Paducah, Kentucky, and it's joined up with a cold front. This thing will move very, very slowly towards Alabama over the next two or three days. So we'll have increasing chances for rain tomorrow, in the afternoon especially, then thunderstorms are likely Monday and Tuesday. We're not talking about an all-day rain, but some heavy rain in some spots is possible as we go into Monday and Tuesday of this week. Now, a big news story that everybody in the country will be talking about this week is Florence. Right now, it's Tropical Storm Florence, centered way out here still in the Atlantic. But if we take a look at the expected track from the National Hurricane Center, what we see is this thing goes from Tropical Storm Florence tonight to Category 4 Hurricane Florence by Tuesday at 9 p.m. with winds of 145 miles per hour. Folks, this is a big deal. It's going to continue towards the East Coast. Right now, the official track brings it in near Wilmington, North Carolina, sometime Thursday night. Now, there will be some variation to this, but this looks like a major hurricane headed for the East Coast of the United States. Definitely a major news story across the country this week. Taking a look at the tracks on various computer models, seeing why we're not so sure where it will hit, one American model takes it up here toward the Outer Banks and then eventually up toward Washington, D.C. One takes it over here near Charleston, South Carolina. But we know the general area, and it looks like it will not affect us here in Alabama. There are two other tropical storms out there, though, believe it or not, Isaac and Helene, that may affect our weather here as we go into next week. But let's just take these things one at a time. Florence will definitely be a big story in the news this week across the country. So back locally here for tonight, muggy, some isolated thunderstorms, about 73 degrees. As we go into tomorrow, thunderstorm chances go up and temperatures go down just a bit with a high temperature of only 90 and about a 50% chance of rain at any given spot. Then much better chances for rain on Monday and Tuesday. Storms likely both days, temperatures down in the 80s. Then we get back into a th summertime pattern Wednesday through Saturday.